This weekend marks two weeks since 20-year-old Corin Rodney Thomas was shot and killed in a Raleigh neighborhood. 39-year-old Chad Copley called 911 complaining of, quote, hoodlums just before, minutes before, in fact. Police say he fired through his garage door window, hitting and killing Thomas. Copley then called 911 again, saying it was a warning shot. And today we're learning Thomas will be laid to rest on Saturday. Members of the general public are invited to attend. Tonight, the McDonald's where Thomas worked is holding a benefit and celebrating of his life. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janival is there. A.J. Yes, Sharon, all of the proceeds from, or rather all of the sales from tonight will go towards Thomas' family. Half of the money that they bring in will go towards the family, and any donations will also go towards the family. The people that work here said that they wanted to show support for Thomas's family. Now, Thomas specifically worked at this McDonald's for five months, but organizers tonight say that he worked at other McDonald's throughout the area for a little bit longer, and they say that both coworkers from this McDonald's on Falls and Noose Road, as well as the other location, will be here tonight for Thomas. Now, I spoke to one of his coworkers, one that worked here. His name is Royce Hunter. He says that he worked with Thomas basically every day for the last three months. He says they actually became friends bonding over uh, playing video games together. And what he tells me is that it's hard to lose someone that you spend so much time with. I don't think it's something anyone can get used to having someone be there all the time and then they're not there. I don't think anyone can actually really get used to that. So and no one can take his place, of course, obviously, but we just try to make it day to day. Now, the fundraiser is going to go until 9 o'clock tonight, and again, I want to reiterate, half of all of the sales from this McDonald's will go towards the Thomas family, and any donations as well will go to that family. Reporting live here in Raleigh, I'm A.J. Janivel for CBS North Carolina. AJ, thank you. And you can find our full coverage of the shooting, including the 911 calls online right now at WNCN.com. And some Raleigh first responders are upset they haven't received pay raises despite some 